Hello, welcome to my video. A video about shampoo making, hard shampoo making. Once you've got all your ingredients together, you mix, you weigh up your, your oils. So here I am adding almond oil and coconut oil to olive oil. And once you've done that, you put on your protective equipment, your goggles and your gloves because you have to make lye and lye is sodium hydroxide that you add to water or to keep the temperature down because uh, making lye the water heats up quite a lot so to keep it cool I added the lye to the sodium hydroxide to ice cubes and when it's all mixed up and the ice cubes are all melted then you pour your lye into your oil and uh, do it gently onto the back of a spoon so it doesn't splash because it is dangerous and then you mix your lye into your oils well you could spend all all day mixing them up by hand it is a very long and slow process but or you can you can use a, a stick an electric stick blender as i did and uh, very quickly you go from your oil to an emulsion and as you can see it changes colour um, and the more you blend, the more you mix, the thicker it gets until eventually you get to a point where the oil and the lye are completely mixed together and you get to trace where you can see that it leaves a trace on the top. This is when you add your essential oils. So I added rosemary and lemongrass and you mix your essential oils in. Um, you choose whatever you like, obviously. And then you pour your batter. It's called a batter. You pour it into your mold. Uh, if you're not using a silicon mold like me, I used a an old wooden box that I had. Well, you have to line your mould with greaseproof paper. So you line your mould with paper. You pour your batter into your mould and if you like, you can leave it as it is or you can smooth it off and then tap it on the tabletop to get all the bubbles out and uh, then cover it with plastic or with a towel and the next day you'll see it will have hardened up. Now it's hard enough to take out of the mould but it's not so hard that it can't be cut into slices. It's a bit like, like butter. It's like taking butter out of the fridge. So for a nice finish on that last piece, I cut a thin slice off and then just cut the rest out by hand. And I used that first, uh, that first piece as, as a guide um, so that all my bars will be just about the same size. And that's how you do it. Now you have to wait six weeks for it to be completely dried out. But uh, you can use it immediately. Just make sure you don't leave it sitting in water. And there you have it. Hard shampoo. Thank you for watching.